We started our journey by digging out our parking space at the airport. We hopped on a flight to Chicago to see the opening of the Brain Scoops Hyena Diorama. Then we walked down a hallway that looked like it was made for me on the way to the train that would take us to the museum. As we were walking there, it started to snow, but fortunately, it was nothing like the three feet that we had just come from. As we were waiting for the exhibit to open, we wandered around the Hall of Asian Mammals and we saw the existing dioramas. It looked like we were catching some of the animals off guard. These were like snapshots of their lives that we were invading. Every detail told you something. Where they lived, what they ate, and who they hung out with. Then the speeches began and the exhibit was revealed. It was the first full-scale diorama to be made in more than 60 years. Over 50 staff members meticulously, and I mean meticulously, put this exhibit together. This ball of dung had several iterations. It was also created because over 1,500 people from around the world were able to donate. Emily said she previously gauged her program's success by notes and drawings from fans, and she was worried about taking this chance. People asked her why she thought so many fans had donated, and she said she made up some answers but wondered why herself. One girl said she was happy to be able to donate because usually only large donors can make a difference at museums. We did it for three different reasons. First, because inspiring people matters. There was a girl in elementary school who loves the brain scoop, and she was talking about animals and dissections and how her friends all make fun of her for it. Then there was a little boy who was glued to the glass from the moment they revealed it. And second, because in the words of John, it is such a blessing in this life to find your people. We met some nerd fighters and they took us out for dinner. They told us how they met each other through nerd fighteria and how they go on dinosaur expeditions together, interned for Emily, and now some of them work at museums and aquariums. We told them about our experiences with the space shuttle, the university rover challenge, and first robotics. And these are some of my favorite experiences because I found people who are passionate about the same things I love. And lastly, because it was fun. My hope is things like the Brain Scoop, this diorama, and our channel give people the opportunity to not only find the joy in science, but be able to find people to share it with too. That's why I always hope you keep exploring. Is the exit through the snow pile?